When we talk about development and advancement, we cannot deny placing China as the winner of the race. From young to old people, every man of Chinese land is hardworking and dedicated towards his country. Chinese workers are known as the most hardworking workers in the world. No wonder how this country managed to build the world's largest arch dam in just four years. In this video, we are going to unveil every minor and major detail about the world's largest arch dam built by China. Stick to the end of the video to know interesting facts about this masterpiece of hydroelectric engineering. But before that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay updated about our latest content. Let's start the video. On the lashing water waves of the Jinshe River, which is an upper stretch of Yangtze River in the provinces of Yunnan and Sichuan, lies the greatest engineering project of China, the Baihetan Dam in the southwest part of the country. On a 72-meter wide base, the Baihetan Dam stands at a height of nearly 300 meters above sea level. Towering over the river of golden sand, the Great Baihetan Dam comprises more than 8 million cubic meters of concrete. Looking at the complex infrastructure of the Baihetan Dam, it is hard to believe that the construction was completed complete within four years. We know it's a Chinese tradition to keep working hard until you pass out. The hydropower station site is so breathtaking and exquisite that if you ever get a chance to visit it, you will be like, damn, the dam looks damn cool. This gigantic hydroelectric dam is built by three gorge corporations. The specialist started their analysis on the construction site in 1992. As you know, hydroelectric dams need a proper site to set up. Before construction, the inspection of the dam site was done to check if it has good head flow, transportation facilities, and sufficient water availability. It was taken care of beforehand that the dam site was not among an environmental sensitivity and that it does not impact the passageway of aquatic life. Of course, you can't expect a fish to say, oh damn, when it hits the wall. After the finalization of the dam site, it was planned to be constructed between 2009 and 2018. But sure, it was a very complex project, so the construction started a decade later in 2017. But surprisingly, all the construction work was done within four years. The dam will officially operate in mid-2022. The construction of the world's second largest dam started in 2017, and within the time span of four years, China completed the construction, proving that technical and civil difficulties such as remote locations location and perfidious terrains do not stand a chance before result-oriented and hard-working people. The Baihetan Dam is the largest arch dam in the world. An arch dam is a super complex project with an initial dam layout that is tested again and again until it meets the perfect design criteria. So now you have an idea why the completion of the Baihetan Dam is a miracle on its own. The dam presses the hydrostatic pressure, which is the force of water, to press against the arch as it pushes its abutments. The construction of the dam is a very intricate but interesting process. The weaker soil and stones are removed from the original ground level. Instead, all of the weaker stuff is replaced by the much stronger rocks. This is done to lay the foundation of the dam. The base is always stronger because it is going to hold the weight of the entire structure. The dam site is filled with concrete, either by cranes or heavy-loaded truck systems. As for the Baihetan Dam, 8 million cubic meters of concrete were used. The water project is executed with 16 turbines total, capable of generating millions of kilowatts of electricity. They have made innovations in the generation units to increase their capacity from 800,000 kilowatts to 1 million kilowatts. In terms of generating electricity, this is going to be the second largest hydropower plant in the world. The short and long blades used in turbines help ensure efficient and stable turbine operation. All the material used for the construction of the Baihetan Dam was developed and extensively tested by many Chinese experts to prevent possible thermal cracks and damages which the fluctuations in temperature might trigger. Hundreds of hard-working civil engineers, engineering geologists, mechanical engineers, and geotechnical engineers worked day and night tirelessly to present this masterstroke before the world. The working of the hydroelectric dam is at least less complex than its construction. A hydropower dam takes in the mechanical or potential energy of water and somehow converts it into electrical energy and is then distributed among locals for use. After the construction of this dam, the reservoir was filled with water in April of 2021. They did not fill the reservoir with water during the time of construction because River Jinsha is a high-flow river and it could cause damage to the structure of the dam. Then the dam was scheduled to generate electricity partially in July of the same year. At this partial use trial, valves and floodgates were tested as well as the behavior of the dam was extensively monitored. As we mentioned earlier, the official and complete working of the dam will be initiated in July of next year. 
The Great Byheaton Hydropower Station has an installed capacity of 16 million kilowatts and is capable of generating over 82 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year. This electricity generation is nearly 15 times greater than the Hoover Dam, which is one of the most important water reservoir stations in the United States. When the dam is fully operational, it will meet the annual electricity demand of 500,000 people. Apparently, for a project completed in only four years, this is massive. Chinese President Xi Jinping seemed very happy and proud at the Baheaton hydropower station and said, As a major project in China's West East Power Transmission Program, Baheaton is the largest and most technically difficult hydropower project currently under construction in the world. Xi further told the media that the Baheaton project has been marked a major breakthrough in China's high-end equipment manufacturing. The advanced technological project is not only concerned with the production of cheap economical electricity, but also aims to strengthen control over heavy water flows during the time of summer when flood season in China is at its peak. Since we all know that floods and heavy rains are a run of the mill for China, this dam is going to be very helpful in such disastrous and difficult times. Not only this, the Baheaton's hydropower Power stations are also capable of reducing China's carbon dioxide emissions by more than 50 million tons per year. The world's second largest will help reduce the consumption of standard coal by nearly 20 million tons. The advanced technology used in this project will help reduce the amount of hydro and thermal energy required to drive the dam in the long run. Chen Wenfu, the chief specialist of Baiheaton Engineering and Construction Department, said, We have built the world's largest new energy corridor along the Yangtze River and Jinsha River, and we are doubling efforts for forms of energy like wind and solar. It is our plan to deliver a steady supply of green energy to all parts of the country and help achieve its carbon dioxide emission peak before 2030 and carbon dioxide neutrality before 2060. The water retaining structure, water releasing structure and water conveying structures of the Baiheaton Dam is highly advanced and we can have high hopes for this. With that being said, we come to the end of the video. What do you think about this water project? Isn't it amazing? Comment down below your thoughts. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends.